So when you read the Dawn of a lot of times, it's 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 seven minutes, six minutes. When you do it with the uh, inclement weight, and when you do it in practice to 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 check if there's any asymmetrically, you can do it all in theory, and that's one minute, two minutes. I'll show you later. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Just to uh, just to demonstrate, uh, Igor, your coat making. I will cover. Just to demonstrate, when he is coming in your practice and he has groin pain, and you did some local research to orientate if there could be a chain problem, you can do this one. So you fix the leg, and you just bring into extension with this knee flexion and then just check abduction and adduction. So as you see, there is, as you can remember, there is a, a big difference between the left and the right. So most of the times the, uh, uh, the, normal, the normal criterion for adduction is the athlete can reach the, the couch with the knee. And if he can, in this position, it's no problem. Yeah. So local, there's nothing wrong. <coughs> but when you stretch the, the myofascial sheet, and there is a problem in it, so you go to the extension, try it here, and you can't reach it. Maybe you can, when you stretch the leg, so there is a re relaxation of the, of the myofascial sheet, you could go any further. So you really have to be careful, he is not getting away here, or anything else. If I can show it one more time, try to stay this one. Look what's happening now when I'm trying to make the abduction. So here, and now you rotate your left shoulder a little bit back. Outside, outside. More? Okay. No, no. It's, it's really different. So we don't know when the test is positive, where the hypermobility is. It's not a hip for sure. It's uh, rectus femoris, abdominals, we don't know. We only know when you treat it, it can be symmetrical, and that's the point. Well, give a minute, quick applause. Thank you. I got the, the values calculated. Add deduction 24. For the left side, extension is 12. Add deduction is 6, so it's a big difference. Abduction is... Uh, 25 for the right side, 24 for the left side. So you would be you would be expecting the abductors to be stiff. That's not the case. So if you only test abduction, you won't find it. That's what literature says. So you know the example of the literature. Um, the internal rotation is 28 on the right side, 17 on the left. External rotation again, no difference, 60, 60. When you uh, when you count it up, you come to 160 for the right side and 119 for the left side. So 25% of difference. 
and that's what you feel, I think, during testing. So it's quite a significant difference, and that's what, find, that's what we find all over and all over again. And um, so your left side is much more stiffer. And that's what we saw on the clinical examination. A slight difference, and feel it's a bit different, but not that big. You can feel something, but not, 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 not that big. It's for sure not 25% difference. So you can make it more precise, give more numbers to it, and you find some directions to be restricted, but not, not only what you would expect them to be. Yeah. But what, what is your problem? It's got a, a lot of room too. So that one too? Yes. Yeah, you know that already. It's been diagnosed. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't say anything about the pathology. It's, it's just a, It's a can. It's, it's a can. It's a can. And that's, that's uh, probably what we saw. A slight internal rotation restriction. But it leads to a functional problem as well. Yeah. And I think, I think we can solve for now uh, the, the, the functional problem, but the can will be there. So probably this one you're asymptomatic. Uh, you're symptomatic. Yes. But we know from literature that there can be can lesions yes. which are asymptomatic. Yes. Yeah, so that's for physiotherapists like us, it's important to find things that we can treat. That you yeah. uh, you'll have complaints in sports or after sports? Sometimes I'm uh, in this moment flexion. Questions on that? I think it's quite, quite a easy thing to do, and it's like Bob said, it's you can measure things, but it's it's about to do on Enfield. What do you what do you feel? You can measure it. That's interesting for us to make a point. But it's I think with you when you're when you're patient, it's quite easy to do it on your own. You just tension up the body and feel feel your examination, feel what you're using. But choose all directions, not only one, not only the induction, because you might miss a lot, I think. Yeah? In what way should you treat it? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's gone now. Um, but from a, I think you better can tell it from the, from the manual therapeutic approach. Do we have manual therapists here? We do high velocity, low thrust techniques like that, or stretching things. Stretching we all do, I think. Yeah. But do we, do, do we have high, high velocity? Trust in each uh, yeah. variable. I won't say the person. You won't you won't hurt you again. No, just just when you go to mobilize in that position you shouldn't do because he has pain. He won't come through. But when you first treat the hip and the joints, it's much easier. So we give a traction of the hip like this. Everybody knows? Yeah. And sometimes we give the manipulation. Give them, and then you feel you, you feel the click, and that gives a relaxation to the muscles. And you have to check, you have to check if there is a slight uh, joint disorder in the back, in the spine, thorax, the ribs, uh, the shoulder, because everything it could be anywhere. So first treat the joints, and then lay them in that body tension arc and mobilize it. And the first two three times go smoothly through the pain, and then it's gone. Then it's gone. Not the label tear issue, but, but the mobility issue. So that will go very fast. In one, in one treatment, you can have some or 100% symmetric relief or, or 80%. It goes very fast. So the, the, uh, what is hypermobile is reversible. It's no problem. But uh, you have to be creative in, if you can't manipulate, you have hold relax techniques, etc. So it should be. You can do You could do any traction you like. Yeah, you could do any traction you like. So there is not a, a, a protocol for solving this because mostly uh, it can be the muscles, it can be the connective tissue in the myofascial structures. It needs different approaches. So we have to search for it. And surely, when the, uh, there's a, a lot of patients who have the combination of uh, a tears in the labor and this asymmetrical uh, sport specific uh, test. But I think you can make a, a kind of big bunch things that we do when you want to sum them up. I think we come to uh, manipulation of the hip, usually. 
almost, almost 100% of the time. Check the SI joints. SI joints, you can manipulate quite easily. No, 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 no danger of that. We go to the turbo joint. Turbo tur 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 if you can mobilize. That's, uh, there's a lot of segmental uh, relation with uh, things like the hip uh, area. So it works quite, quite quickly. When you have more, you can go all the way up to the thorax. Which when you want to make a tension arc, you need to torch mobility as well. And these are quite easy to, to do as well. Yeah. So we think you should try to have a look if there's a manual therapist in your neighborhood who can help you out with that. Because if you're not trained in that, I think we should work together. And just ask him two or, three, two, or two or three times. Make a quick release, and then you can go on with your sports physiotherapy. Like, uh, like training, like stabilizing, the things we were discussing with, uh, with Andreas. I think it's a, it's a great combination. Because if you do not do anything with the stability, this will come back. It's not there for nothing. No, it, it's, a, it's a kind of expression of function loss. But it should be something in strength. Oh, I disagree. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you will be operated. You will be operated. No, no, no. You're going to do it. You're going to do it yourself. I don't want it. You don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Try, try to relax the leg. Relax the muscles. Take a little tension and then trust. Trust. Very short. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, flat. Oh, flat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. No, it's, it's, uh, it's fixed. The, the, most, the biggest problem is the patient has to relax, and now a hundred eyes are on him and uh, on me, so it's difficult. But when you can relax the leg and then give it a pull, that is what you're going to do. So you have to get the femur out of the acetabulum. That, not not this distance, but you know what I mean. Yeah? And you can do. Uh, can you see that? Back to you. You can do some other techniques. Next time, first is lumbar spine. Can you lay on your side? On the right side. So it's just preparing the joints to, uh, to relax the muscles. Thank you.